I'm not in music videos because I'm shy. I could have been famous and rich and not having a KFC mukbang. <laughs> Maybe I could have been affording a seafood boil mukbang. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mufaroma Zodze. You already know it's another great video. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm doing a KFC mukbang. I know those who know me well are going to be like, what? Mufaroma doesn't eat KFC. Yes, I don't. <laughs> I, know, I don't normally eat KFC, but you know, somebody got it for me. My uncle got me KFC, so you know, I'm hungry, what can I do, but, and worse, I think it's a Streetwise 2, and I don't normally go for that option, I'll get like a wrap, but not like their chicken. Firstly, as some of you might know, I went to Stellenbosch University, that is where I studied, and I started to know of Moonchild in 2015, when I was, you know, studying to music and I was into house music then, etc, etc. So yeah, shout out to my Stelly's peeps, shout out to Vuyiswa, um, she's always watching my videos and always commenting and liking and sharing. Um, I know I've been promising you a shout out girl, but I finally remembered. <laughs> shout out to everybody who watches, I love you all. Um, so yeah, I'm not a great storyteller, but here goes the story. I've known Moonchild since 2015, like I've said before. Um, and sure, this video is also a KFC mukbang. So before I get into the story, guys, this is actually like, this is not an easy video to shoot. This is the KFC. How am I going to try to eat KFC and tell a story? <laughs> this is ghetto. <laughs> but anyway. My food is um quite... My food is quite, um, <laughs> it's not as warm anymore. My favorite hot beverage is tea. It is so, so cold in Cape Town. I think I'm looking good, yeah. <laughs> Guys, KFC is strange to eat. I'm really not a KFC person. Um, anyway, so the story goes... I was, um, 2015, I was listening to a lot of Coke Studio music. I don't know if any of you guys have watched or listened to, rather, Coke Studio music. They were partnering with a lot of famous artists. Um, she did a song with um, Uhuru called Ivila. Well, that's when I actually started to know Moonchild. We all know Moonchild. She always has her big hair. So one day, me and my friend, shout out to her. I didn't ask for permission to mention her, so I can't say. Uh, we'll walk on campus, and then we saw a standard bank advertisement, you know. And usually on campus, you know, sometimes that means you're going to get something free. So, you know me, I'm always down for a freebie. I was always down for a freebie. So, we are walking down campus, and then they make us fill us a form. They said um, they're doing an event, like a... It was a networking event I uh, sponsored by Standard Bank. If you're enjoying this mukbang, why have you not yet subscribed? Let's talk. Why are you not yet subscribed? And it was going to be in Cape Town and they're going to take us by a bus and we're going to eat food and have nice drinks and wine and dine with the rich and famous. <laughs> All we had to do is fill in this form and say what, are, what was our dreams or what did we hope to achieve but anyway me and her passed kind of flying colors <laughs> so me and her got to go which is quite great you know that we both got because not everyone that filled in the form was going to get the opportunity to go i even actually met um some cool people that i still talk to today so it was actually a great um networking event only one person that i still talk to today shout out to him if he watches anyway and so we get on the bus, we get ready, we get dressed, we go, and 
and when we arrive at the destination i'm like to my friend is that not moon child but you know me i'm shy actually guys true story i know hard to believe i'm very very shy <laughs> so yeah oh that's my friend damn i know that person and the funny thing is like you arrive at this event there was kids from uct um i guess uct and stanberg because those are the most uh, biggest universities in the western cape mm. i don't know if there was anyone from uwc or cput but everybody was ignoring Moonchild. Like, imagine that could never happen now, because that was 2017, by the way. Um, that was my final year at Stellenbosch, 2017. That's when I got to see Moonchild. And everybody is like, okay, not ignoring her, but nobody like was like fanning out or anything because they didn't know who she was. But I knew, like, I'm like that's Moonchild. But then only when she started speaking, and then she's like, hi, I'm Moonchild. And I told people, I told you. But like, the sad thing is like I wish I had approached her before everybody else had approached her. For all we know, I could have been in the music videos, guys. I could have been famous by now. Me and her could have maybe probably bonded, you know. <sighs> but anyways, so the moral of the story is don't be shy. <laughs> Cause now I'm not in music videos because I'm shy. I could have been famous and rich and not having a KFC mukbang <laughs> maybe I could have been affording a seafood boil mukbang <laughs> I didn't even do much eating guys but this was a great event and there was also um how can I forget his name oh Siv Ngesi who's a quite a popular guy most people know him and there was actually a youtuber at that event but i was not big on youtube back in those days so i forgot his name unfortunately <laughs> but it was a great event it was a standard bank event um yeah we had fun we danced i even have i should have i should still have videos of that night but i have pictures and i'm gonna leave them in the thumbnail in the video you're gonna see them uh, thank you for joining guys don't forget to click subscribe but yeah thank you for joining I love you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you for watching this KFC mukbang I think I'm living good I love you for watching bye